All right, guys, so we're going to go over a technique called Quattro Contos. Quattro Contos is the four corners, or uh, a lot of people know it as just the wall, the four walls, okay? So this is going to be dealing with attacks coming in from uh, the top corners, angles one and two, or angles one and two down low, okay? So with this concept, we want to address these four basic uh, areas, uh, four basic attacks, and using a concept that really creates what we call a bisecting line. So a wall ultimately creates a bisecting line, meaning it ends up kind of like a plus sign or an X, okay? Um, so when that attack comes in from angle one, I want to use the wall concept in order to create my counter offense. Now, I'm going to show you the four walls and then we'll break the techniques down to help you better understand how to apply uh, and how to practice these, okay? So first, uh, I'll show you what it looks like, the four walls. Okay, and you can see how that deals with uh, attacking those four corners or counterattacking uh, someone who's trying to hit you from either, any of those points, okay? Now, a few concepts we want to take into consideration when we're practicing the, the walls, okay? Number one, I want to use sidestepping as my basic footwork, okay? Sidestepping is my basic footwork. Make sure when I do this, uh, number one, I'm angling the body uh, and my stick in relation to the attack. So when that attack comes in from an angle one position, I use sidestepping to off to, to angle my body, all right? Um, when I angle my body, I wanna be careful not to turn in too far. I, I, I don't wanna over rotate and expose myself to being hit. So as I turn and angle my body, I wanna still have my body in a position where it's angled toward the attack. Number two, as I do that, I create the same or similar angle with the stick, which creates a bisecting line. Okay, so if you can imagine their stick coming in and my stick going in the counter, it would end up looking like an X more or less. So creating a bisecting line. Now with doing this, I'm gonna use my live hand to support the wrist, okay? This will come into play later when we start dealing with the checking or the uh, control techniques, all right? So this first concept is called a broken concept. So as I move and angle my body with sidestepping, I'm gonna create the the bisecting line or angle of entry with my stick, which also matches theirs. Now, with doing this, first step is angle the body and the weapon. Second is I wanna meet the force with force, all right? If I'm too static or too relaxed or uh, too uh, soft in my approach, then that stick can bounce back and hit me or pass through and still hit me. So make sure you understand that meeting of force creates deflection, all right? It changes the trajectory of their, of their weapon. So as I move, supporting hand, angle the body and the weapon, and I meet force with force. Okay, and then I chamber back to the other side, same thing. This is a broken concept, so as I pivot my body, again, supporting hand, proper angle, matching the angle of attack, meeting the force with force. Same thing down low, side step, proper angle of the body and the weapon, meeting the force with force. Chain the back, pivot, meet the force with force. Okay, again, proper angling. I would go over that first uh, several times to make sure you're comfortable with positioning the body. Next, you go to a fluid concept. Fluid is, is gonna allow me to go in, okay? So we're broken, uh, just broken by itself here could be that the rate that the attack is a little further out so as I create that wall I may not have the, the ability to go in and get that hand it may be just a little out of my reach or I didn't go in and close the gap quick enough so with doing that at least the wall creates the deflection allowing the stick to go by or be deflected away from me which can open up the door and allow me to go in on the back side uh, and close the gap. So uh, fluid now. Fluid is, is whenever I create this fluid uh, concept of wall, this is going to allow me to go in and close that gap and get a hold of the arm or the hand for control. So now as I create this wall using the proper angling still and angling in the stick, meeting the force, all those same things still apply. 
Now, at the same time I make contact with the stick using Meet the Force, now my hand's gonna go in to control their hand or gain access as this stick comes behind me, okay? And we'll address uh, later how you can utilize this, but just want you to understand the concept first. So meet the force proper angle. As it meets the force, this hand goes in as the stick chambers behind me, okay? Same thing on the other side. As I change to go to angle two and I meet the force, as I go in, this hand is gonna come through and check their hand or their arm, all right? And then my stick would chamber back. So it would be here, one. Same thing when I go low. Pivot the body, hit. As I hit, this allows me to chamber back and go into this hand or go in uh, to control. Same thing from the other side. As I come to here and check or, or use my low wall, as I hit that, I go in to control the arm, chamber back, okay? So again, your broken and fluid concepts. Remember broken. And then you have your fluid. All right, guys, remember a couple important details. Proper angling of the body. We're using sidestepping, but we're using proper angling of the body toward the attack, angling of the weapon. Then we're using meet the force to bisect the line and deflect the stick away from me so that I can go in. All right, guys, hope you enjoy it. Peace.